And one of the things we love to do in our Where's Marty segment is give you behind the scene looks at some of the best spots in Baltimore. We're so excited about this. Marty joins us again from the Maryland Zoo behind the scenes at the kitchen. Marty. Well, K2, well, K2 and I enjoy the same part of Where's Marty. This gets us to places yep. that, that we never get to see. You met Katie, that's Zach. Zach is squeezing Artie. What exactly are you making over here right now? I'm making a fruit smoothie for our fruit bats. Fruit smoothie for your fruit bats. That's wild. Not only do these folks make this, once it's done, they'll be delivering it uh, to various parts of the zoo. And I'm, I'm kind of amazed how far away we really are from the animal exhibits themselves. Now what we're looking at right now is uh, vegetables and fruits. There's a reason there's no meats or other, uh, I guess, no meats because USDA hygiene. Yeah, exactly. We keep that separate from the, the fish and the meat and the vegetables are always separate. Dr. Ellen Watson, head veterinarian from the, uh, from the Maryland Zoo of Baltimore. And we just want to show you something real quick. Then we're coming right back out here. So that's a big walk-in freezer. Yep. And you've got in here the fruits and the vegetables. Yep. But then you come back even further. There's some of the animals that like fish. And which would be the seal. Uh, uh, All of our penguins, our 110 penguins. Wow. And our bears and our otters and several other animals. They're into seafood. Yeah, you bet. That's why. But come on. Who it? There you go. Come on back out here real quick, though, because this is absolutely a fascinating part of the zoo diet. Human tree. Who likes pretzels? Oh, our chimpanzees love pretzels, and so do our zebra and some of our antelope even. So, really? Yeah. Yeah, and those are training treats. So if they're training for a certain behavior, um, then we give them that, or we can scatter them around their exhibit to keep them busy. Who likes seltzer lemon lime? Oh, the chimpanzees love seltzer. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. No kidding. Yeah. And you were saying that they, that a lot of the creatures like sweets. Yep, just like humans. Yep, yep. So molasses is a favorite of some of the hoofstocks, so our, our zebra and some of our antelope wow. and even our primates, like our chimpanzees. That is, that is really wild. Yeah. Now, coming up next half hour, um, a lot of these animals also like bugs. They do. How many, tell me how many different species of bugs you grow here. So we grow three. We have about six different species upstairs. That is absolutely crazy. So when we come back, the, uh, the tour of the menu will continue. Have a mealworm? You bet. How, 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 many, how, how many are upstairs? Oh, thousands. A lot. Lots yeah. of protein. Unbelievable. So we'll throw it back to TV Hill and you all stay tuned. Get your appetites ready. We ain't done. Thank you, Marty. Ooh. Yummy bugs. Thanks, Marty. I feel like so I have the same appetite as a chimp. Pretzels and sparkling water. Yes. What could be better in and life? Something sweet too. Yes. Yes. No worms for us. No. <laughs>